Hello, it's Paul Jacklitz of ProFootballZone.com with your two-minute drill. My question is, are the New York Giants building, rebuilding, excuse me, on the fly right now? You see teams do it all the time. The Patriots have done it um, time in and time out. You know, they early in the 2000s, they won three Super Bowls. Um, their teams are totally different. The only guy left on the team is Brady and, of course, I think Wilfork, who could be gone now. I mean, after Terrence Achilles, 34 years old, his career is almost done. They continue to be a Super Bowl contender. You know, they've been in two Super Bowls since their uh, you know, first three there. Um, obviously, didn't win them, but still, they keep rebuilding and are always a Super Bowl contender, let's face it. Um, but all my question again is, are the New York Giants doing that right now? You look at this team, uh, they were they were really different last year. Their offensive line is, is definitely transitioning. Uh, they were so strong with Sean O'Hara, Snee, and Deal, and now Deal's retired. O'Hara's been retired now. Soybert's been retired. You know, they're transitioning there. Running backs. They had Jacobs and Bradshaw. Those are one-two punch for their first two Super Bowls, um, at least in this era, I should say. Um, and now both are gone. Of course, Bradshaw was gone last year. Told, you know, they revamped their running game. Hakeem Nix is about to be gone. Obviously, the receivers from one Super Bowl, from their first one with this group, it was, or I should say with Eli Manning, the first one with Eli Manning, it's totally different. You know, they had a mining tumor, Steve Smith, Plaxico Burst. And, of course, the second one, they have Manningham, Knicks, and Cruz. Um, but, you know, the teams, you always have to keep rebuilding on the fly, especially when you have a franchise quarterback. You know, people love hating on Eli Manning. Yeah, he doesn't play well all the time. He's a streaky quarterback. But the guy knows how to win in the clutch a lot of times. So, obviously, you have to, you have to give him his respect. Two Super Bowl MVPs. Um, he's still a franchise quarterback, whether you like it or not. He may not be a Breeze or Peyton Manning or Tom Brady, but the guy, he's got two rings. And, uh, you know, you can't really be upset about that. You can't be mad about that with him. But, um, yeah, I mean, they're re- I, think, I think they're rebuilding on the fly. You know, the linebacking core, they've been trying to rebuild that now for years since Antonio Pierce retired. And uh, their secondary is definitely going to be revamped. Corey Webster's done. Aaron Ross is gone. Uh, Terrell Thomas, he might be back. He's a free agent. You know, you got J. Ron Hosley, Prince of Mucamara. Um, you know, and right now, the, so far, it looks like they're going to keep Aaron Charles roll, even though his cap number is going to be really high next year. But even look, look, they they let Kenny Phillips go last year, who's pretty much done, it seems like, with his knee. He's just got bad knees. But Kenny Phillips let him go, kind of retooled Will Hill, um, you know, the heck of a player. Stevie Brown came in a couple years ago, played well, obviously injured his knee last year. Um, but this team, they're, they're kind of rebuilding on the fly, especially with their line. The receivers are just going to let Knicks go, especially this season. You look at this team, it seems like Jerry Reese is just ready to let let his free agents just go. He said, oh, we're going to let him test free agency. And um, that's not really like the Giants. Typically, they, they want to try to keep their guys. I know they don't have a lot of cap room, but the cap, you know, salary cap is going up so much that you would think that they would try to keep a guy, especially like Linval Joseph. There were reports during the regular season that they were going to try to keep him, that that was going to be their number one priority. Clearly not. They feel like they can't afford him. Probably let him walk, keep guys like Mike Patterson, Colin Jenkins, and hopefully get another young guy in there. Um, and, of course, you're hearing about them. They're going to be very active in free agency. At least that's what the word is. Tight ends they're going to be looking for. Maybe even a receiver. Their offensive line, linebackers. Be pretty active in free agency, which, again, is not like them. You've seen them years. Some years they will get a few free agents. But it seems like this year they're going to be more active than ever. Uh, seems like they're just trying to retool, trying to get at least one more Super Bowl out of Eli Manning before he retires. I know he's not at Peyton stage, but, I mean, he's got about five years, six years left maybe. Again, those years are going to fly by. I know they would like to get one more ring with him.